Hello you guys, we are back on the vlog grind. We are back in Ohio. Today is Wednesday. It's officially, this camera's not sitting, but we are officially one week away from the walkthrough date for our house, which I'm so excited for. So today we're gonna be doing some last minute shopping, just picking up a few things. We also have a couple returns. We bought like a duvet insert from Target, which I ended up getting home and looking at reviews and they're really bad. So we're gonna go ahead and return those. Um, and I'm so excited. I had my eye on this espresso machine. It's really fancy. It's like a really expensive purchase, but something I've been wanting, I think they're on sale. Um, so I think we're gonna go ahead and get that. But this morning's been pretty chill. Spencer got some work done, as did I, and then I ended up doing a little workout. We just bought a treadmill on Amazon, funny enough, but I've been loving it. It's so nice to have one at home. It's nothing fancy. I think it was only like $300. I'll have it linked down below if you guys want it. It's not anything like really nice. Like it's pretty small, I'll say that. And also you can't adjust the incline on it, but it's so nice and convenient to have something at the house because mornings like today, I didn't have time time to go to the gym and everything but I was still able to get a workout in which was really nice so I've been enjoying that also I'll say it's very easy to put together because I had to do it <laughs> yeah thank you for that but yeah before we go do a little shopping I think we're gonna go grab a bite to eat we're actually in the parking lot of first watch which I'm so excited for we used to go all the time in college it was one of our favorite spots so I'm excited to head in I'm starving I haven't had anything to eat yet today I'm wearing my up west outfit I think I showed you guys in the last vlog that we went there and I have worn everything Thing that we bought i love it so much it's so good and spencer actually you're wearing the shorts right yeah. they're so comfy everything from there is really good so definitely recommend but i'm starving so let's head in thank you oh that looks good what the heck is that yum Comment down below if you guys are more of a Spencer colored coffee or more of a Leah. Because personally, I need a lot of creamer. I don't know how you drink it black. I don't know. It's like basically black. <laughs> Just got our food. I got some sort of like chorizo Mexican veggie omelet. It looks really, really delicious. And then Spencer, what'd you get? We got basically some gravy, turkey sausage under there. Looks and really then good. Some eggs. Nice. I got some eggs in my bag. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else we get for you guys? I think we're good. I think we're good. We'll do it, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. We are walking into Target. We have a couple of returns and then we'll probably just shop around because Target's literally like one of my favorite stores of all time and I love looking at all of their home stuff. And I wanna get new little jars. I bought some for like the pantry to store like cereals and grains and that sort of thing in. But then I was looking on Pinterest and TikTok and I found these different jars <laughs> that they have at Target. So I think I'm gonna return the other ones I bought. So you bought the one at Amazon? Oh no, no, those are a different one. I bought the spice jars that'll match the oh, Target okay. ones, but then the ones we bought at TJ Maxx aren't gonna match. It's windy. Gotcha. All right, I'm gonna grab a pair of socks because I feel like I never have socks. I don't know where they all go. They have more over here. I'm really mad because Target never has my size in the swimsuits and I love this like coral one. The material kind of reminds me of the Hunza stuff from Revolve. So I was so excited when I saw this, but I never have my freaking size. <laughs> so if you guys want it, definitely go check it out. They have this blue color, which isn't bad. Maybe I'll try this one. I wanted to look at the yoga mats too. How much are they? They're like 40 bucks. I don't know. I was thinking about ordering one off Lululemon, but maybe I should just go ahead and get one. So I have it. Now well, this one's not bad. It's like 16. Yeah, why are these cheaper? I don't know. It's probably just the wow. brand. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is good enough for now though. So I usually go to the gym just on the days that I want to do an ab workout at home. It's nice to have something. And then you said I should get weights, right? Yeah. It's like a two pound. I think this is. No, that's three. Should I do two or three? So far, we have not done much home shopping. It's kind of been personal Leah shopping. So 
Let's head on over to the outdoor section. We already actually got quite a few things for the outdoor like backyard, but I just wanna see what else they have because I'm obsessed and I can't stop shopping for home stuff. It's really bad. <laughs> the candle aisle in any store is my favorite. I can smell them all day. Is this good? It smells just like... It smells like Lucy, Lucy. after she gets groomed. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> it does. Wrong. No, it definitely smells like Lucy. I like the pretty packaging. Like, this. It smells good. I don't know if I would buy it, but I like it. Yeah, it's more masculine. Yeah. I love this. I don't think you'd buy it either, but... Like, what is it? Mango. So I want to get a bunch of the square frames and do sort of a gallery wall somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but I'm thinking something like this. But I want to do just like one single picture. Have you seen that, Spence? Yeah. How people do like the gallery walls. And I was thinking putting some of our engagement pictures. We can do pictures with Lucy and just pictures with the family. That's um, a good idea. Yeah. This is the um, duvet insert that we just returned. Well, ours was like the ultra weight because we like it when it's thick and heavy and just extra plush. But I got online and the reviews were really bad. So if you guys have any recommendations on a good plush, semi-heavy like, duvet insert, please let me know. I know there's some on Amazon that are pretty cheap, but that one was pretty expensive. I think it was like $200 and the reviews were horrible. I feel like there hasn't been anything good in this hearth and hand section lately. It's usually my favorite, but I feel like they haven't come out with much now. Oh yeah, those are nice. I was just saying how we haven't found anything lately, but these are really nice. But how cute is this to put little breadsticks in if we were having like a cute Italian dinner? I don't know why, I just really love that. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they haven't had anything new really come out in the hearth and hand stuff at Target. I'm not really impressed. So these are the little jars that I was telling you about. Um, so I think I'm gonna end up getting these. I'll probably just order them online because they don't have very many of them, but I really like the wooden tops. These are the ones that I picked up the other day. They have these at TJ Maxx. They're actually pretty affordable, but I don't know. After looking at different videos on TikTok and stuff, I feel like the wooden tops look a lot nicer than the all plastic. So I think we're gonna do that. Um, so I just need to return the other ones and then place an order online. Yoga mat was on sale apparently. It was only $5, which is insane. I feel like that's such a good deal. I mean, it was only originally, what, like 15, but still it's a pretty good markdown. Um, but now I think we're gonna head to Bed Bath & Beyond. It's getting hot out. It says it's only 74, but it kind of- Feels hotter than that. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Um, so I think we're gonna head to Bed Bath. <laughs> I think we're gonna head to Bed Bath & Beyond look at the coffee thing and then we have like a 20% off coupon so we'll probably just see like what else they have um but I don't know if we're gonna be going anywhere else I can't be anywhere else to go we'll figure it out I got my nails done yesterday and I ended up getting a gel or acrylic set whatever it's called um I haven't had an acrylic set in probably four years and I don't know if I love them to be honest I don't love the color I feel like I should have just gotten regular white tips I'm not crazy about this light pink I feel like it looks even maybe a little purple so I'm not a huge fan also I feel like gel nails or not even gel but just like acrylic nails are so thick so I don't know I'm gonna try and go to a different place and see if I like them better but not a huge fan of this like pink purpley color and also I uploaded our engagement video yesterday and I'm blown away at all of the sweet comments so I just wanted to say thank you to you guys um, it really just means the world it's so fun to go through and read comments so never think your comments go unnoticed Spencer and I both always sit and read through them all I just love hearing what you guys have to say and it's so cool that there's somebody else on the other end of my videos um, because obviously I don't get to see you guys every day in real life so it's always fun to read your comments I probably look crazy vlogging here. Like, I don't feel that weird in New York, but I feel like in Ohio everybody's so confused. Like the guy at First Watch, our waiter, was like, what are you recording for? <laughs> yeah, he was nice about it. Though. He was nice, but I thought he was mad I was like recording for a second. Let's get a cart just in case. Last time we were here, we were like looking at this lantern for a ridiculous amount of time and then ended up deciding not to get it. It's, it was a good deal, but like honestly, this part looks really fake and I feel like you need a bigger one if they're gonna sit on the floor. So we didn't get it. Anyways, let's keep shopping. <laughs> Please drop your reviews for a good vacuum down below. 
I did not like the last one we had. Um, I forget what kind it was. It was one of the like cordless ones and the battery just didn't last very long. So I'm looking for a new one. I'm not opposed to cordless, but I think honestly the best option would be the ones that are like half cordless, half like half a cord. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me know which ones you guys like. Also consider the fact that Lucy sheds ridiculously. So we need one that's good for pets. I think this is the one I had No. It was similar, it was something like this. So this is the espresso maker I think we're gonna get. I'm really excited because you can do like actual espresso shots. You can make and customize your own drinks, like different Americano, latte. And I'm pretty sure you can like save your own recipe under your name, which is really cool. So hopefully this will limit the amount of times we go to Starbucks because it's pretty disgusting how much money we've spent there. Um, I thought they were on sale, but it seems like only select ones. And this is the one I want because it has the touch screen I think there's more features but this one I think is a hundred off but I also don't know that I love the black it's probably not showing up well on camera but it's more of a matte so I feel like it would get fingerprints pretty easily so probably gonna go with this one plus this is the one I feel like everybody has but it's very pricey so if you get it make sure you use a 20% off coupon but I'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested this is a big guy right that's not that I can't wait to use it. I don't know if I can wait until we move in. You have to, Let's keep it clean. Since I'm getting a toy, Spencer decided he needs one too. <laughs> so he's thinking about getting this soda stream, which I actually almost got it for him for Christmas, but the one I was reading had bad reviews, so I don't know. He said this one had good reviews. I it, up. it was four and a half stars. Okay. Do you need anything? Like, Does it come with everything? I think you need some flavors, right? These are all like soda flavors though. Like, they have root beer. Oh, the, what do you call it? What's it called? Um, a Dutch oven? No, no not Dutch oven. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually a pot thing. Is it? Yeah, oh. it's like a pan. Oh, okay. What the heck's it called? Um. <laughs> yeah, I love you. Like, <laughs> trying to remember. I don't know. Do I see it anywhere? I want to say griddle, but it's not that. It's not a griddle. Oh my gosh. It's a cast iron. Yeah, we bought a cast iron. Grill it? Grill it? <laughs> Grill. No, cast iron. Skillet. Skillet. A yeah. cast iron skillet, which I'm really excited for. We saw this uh, TikTok, which she made. What was it called? Like crispy chicken. Chicken something. Yeah, it looked really good. So we're going to make it. So that's why we bought cast iron skillet. <laughs> How pretty is this little tumbler? I love the straw. I love drinking out of a straw. So I feel like this would be really nice. But they have one up here that also has a handle on it, which is super nice. But Spencer got his flavors. You didn't show them what you got. We got pineapple, raspberry. They're also on sale, which is nice. Um, mango. And then what was this one? Uh, Strawberry watermelon. Yeah. This is going to be a lifesaver because Spencer drinks how many? How many Five. LaCroix do you drink a day? Five. Five. I think you drink more. You can drink three at night sometimes. I can, but... He hardly drinks any water, he just drinks yeah. seltzer. So excited! How happy are you? Very. Are you more excited for the seltzer or the coffee maker? I think the seltzer. Really? I'm excited for both though. I'm You're definitely going to get a lot of use out of the espresso maker. It'll be so nice like midday to not have to run to go buy a coffee. Box, yeah. We can just like make it at home. It's going to be so fun. So I'm really excited yeah. to do that. And I feel like, I don't know. I feel like we're going to learn a lot like how to use it. So. Yeah. And we're never going to buy Starbucks again, right? No comment. Um, where are we going? Spencer does this thing. Does anybody else's boyfriend do this? He has no idea where we're going, but he just puts the car in drive and starts to go. And he has no, no idea. I'm in a hurry. For what? Stopped at the new house quickly. Our construction manager wanted us to see if there were appliances. They've made so much progress. Well, they might be in the garage. I feel like we should check. Um, I'll do a full house tour when we actually move in in the move-in vlogs, but hopefully the appliances are here. They're not. That's not good. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, that sucks. Jeez. Um, the, the appliances aren't here. They're not there? No. Okay. 
So we're back at the warehouse now. It's getting later. It's already almost five. I'm probably going to make a dinner here soon. I think we're going to make salmon tonight. Um, but as you guys saw in the last clip, unfortunately, our appliances weren't delivered. So hopefully they get delivered later today or that could push back everything with the house. Just it has to do with like the appraisal and the loan and everything getting finished. Um, so we're kind of really getting down to the wire because move-in is supposed to be next weekend. So I don't know. I'm hoping they get delivered and everything will work itself out. But I just keep trying to tell myself like it's going to happen eventually. But we're really getting anxious after being in the warehouse for so long. I feel like we're just ready to actually move into our house and settle in. And not that this is like the worst situation ever. Obviously, we're so excited. I mean, it's something we've been talking about and planning and building for so long now. But anyways, since we're back, I figured I'd go ahead and unbox my Rent the Runway. I got this in actually a few days ago, but I haven't opened it up yet because I figured I would just wait until I vlog. But now that I'm remembering, I just remembered how they come all wrapped in plastic, so I'm probably going to have to like unwrap it before I show you guys anyways, or else it's just going to take forever. But I'm excited. I picked out some really good stuff. Actually, to be honest, I don't remember what I picked out because I picked it out probably like a week ago, but... I'll go ahead and unwrap these and then show you what I got. So I took all the plastic off and now I'm starting to like remember everything I picked out. Um, the first top is the Sprint Facu. I thought the tie-dye pattern was cute. I thought it'd be fun to wear in the summer and actually it would look really cute with the white jeans I have on right now. That would have been a good outfit for today, but I don't know, it might have been a little too chilly. Um, this next top, I wish I had somewhere to wear this. They had the matching skirt for it, but from reading the reviews, people were saying that it didn't look as good together. And I was also thinking it might have been a little too tropical to get away with wearing like just around here. Um, so here's what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's kind of like a corset style top. These really pretty big bell floral sleeves. Um, but I'm imagining wearing this with like a pair of high-waisted trousers. Next thing, this is a Jonathan Simkai dress. I'm really excited for this. Um, it has these cutouts on the side. It's going to be hard to show you without having it on but I think it's gonna be really really pretty it just ties in the back and it has this like floral lace detail and then and this other thing I think this is like a romper which I actually don't wear rompers very often but it has this like belted tie in the back it's strapless I, or actually no I think it ties in the front if I remember right I thought it looked really cute on the model and then I was excited about this I know they carry this brand on Revolve it's the brand Meow, I think is how you say it. Their tag is kind of covering it up, but I thought the pattern was really cool. It's just like a little strapless everyday dress to like lounge around and these are really nice for like a hot summer day. So I thought the pattern was super cool though. It has all these ticket stub things on it. So I don't know. I thought it was fun and you guys know I love Revolve. I actually just got approved to be a Revolve ambassador, which I'm so excited about literally a dream so I'm gonna start linking things from Revolve. I'll go ahead and have like my Revolve favorites. I was able to make a page of all of my favorite items on there so I'll have that link down below. You guys should check it out but I was so excited when I was approved for that. But anyways the last thing I got from Rent the Runway is this top. It has this tie here. It's kind of like a khaki brown color and I love the buttons down the front. Kind of gives safari vibes but like cute safari. Um, so that's everything I got and now I think I'm going to kind of clean up a little bit. Everything's kind of a mess. I mean we have all of our stuff here and then also all of the business so it's just been really chaotic. Um, but Lucy got groomed yesterday. She looks super cute. I'll have to show you guys how cute she looks because she looks so good and I wish you could feel her because I swear like she is the softest dog that I have ever pet. I think she's like the softest dog in the world but anyways I'm gonna clean up and then make dinner and yeah I guess we'll see where the day takes us. Definitely gonna watch some Stranger Things tonight. Spencer had never seen it before so we're re-watching all of the seasons. Now we're on season two but I'm excited to get to season four because I've watched them all. But to be honest, it's been so long since the last season, I kind of forgot pretty much everything that happened. So I've actually enjoyed rewatching it with him because it's really refreshing my memory. And so far he loves it. So I'm excited to keep watching it. Actually, I just remembered that I never opened my Amazon box with the spice jars that I was telling you guys about earlier. So I figured I'd go ahead and open that with you so you can see what they look like. They're really cute and I saw the review pictures. They look so nice in pantries. Like it really just dresses it up and then people get like pre-made labels. I don't think it comes with the labels. I think you have to do that afterwards. Okay. Hi. 
Oh, it does come with the labels. This is so nice. Let me show you guys. So you can, I'm pretty sure you just put this in the printer, which is how we do our SKUs actually um, for our business. And it's not too hard. But anyways, you can like write what the spices are. And then you put them on these jars. Look how cute. Oh, good. I'm glad they didn't come broken because some of the pictures in the reviews were showing that they were broken. The only thing I'm looking is like the way the seal is. I wonder if that will affect it. And they look even better when they have these little labels on them. I love it. So I'll have this link down below if you guys are interested. I think it came with 20. I think there's like another row of them under here and it was like 30 bucks. So it's not too expensive if you're looking to like redo and upscale your pantry slash kitchen. Lucy, you want to show the vlog how you got groomed? <gasps> Such a pretty haircut. Yes, you're so soft. <gasps> pretty girl. Well, tonight I'm making salmon. It's one of my favorite meals. I kind of just follow this TikTok recipe that I found online. These fillets are actually pretty big. I feel like Spencer and I could probably split one, but I'm going to go ahead and make it and then we could just have leftovers for lunch or something. So you start by brushing them with a little bit of olive oil. I need to get like an actual brush. Right now I'm using this little fall spatula, obviously like a baking spatula, but we're just making it work. The situation's weird right now. We're literally living in our business warehouse, you know, so you got to do what you got to do. So you got that and then you sprinkle on some garlic powder. And then I know she says to like put it on all sides. That's kind of hard to do. So I just do the best I can with what I've got, you know. Then she puts on pepper. Oh my god, I forgot to put on Dijon mustard. All right, guys. So I kind of messed up. It's been a while since I've made it. I'm obviously a little rusty because you're supposed to put on Dijon mustard. So we're just going to... Um, do this stuff now because I forgot which is like literally my favorite part of this is the Dijon mustard so I have no idea how I forgot but anyways you just rub the Dijon mustard in you can use as much as you want I like mine pretty seasoned so I'm gonna kind of put it on there thick I already put the garlic powder on I didn't get very far with the pepper so I'm gonna go back in and put on more pepper I cannot get over the fact that I literally forgot the Dijon but Everybody makes mistakes. Okay. Um, then we'll do a little bit of salt and then you finish it off with a little paprika. I feel like I'm finally starting to get hungry. I'm surprised. Usually I'm hungry like earlier than this, but I feel like because we were doing so much today and we were like out and about, it just wasn't really crossing my mind. <laughs> And that's pretty much it. Then you just put the salmon in the greased air fryer. I think she does for at 380 for, I'm trying to scoop this with one hand, but she does it at 380. I think she says like 15 minutes, but honestly, depending on your air fryer, I would check because I find ours are done sooner. And if I do the full 15 minutes, they're usually pretty dried out. All right, so go ahead and put that in. Do 380 for... I'll do like 13 minutes. The salmon's done, and then we usually have this with rice and a veggie, but unfortunately, somebody, <coughs> Spencer, left a bag or a box of white rice in the freezer, even though it was empty. So instead, we're having this like mixed one from Trader Joe's, just like the microwavable one. Um, and then I always have it with these little seaweed. These are so yummy. And then we usually just top it with some sriracha and kupi mayo. And then sometimes I'll just dip it in Dijon mustard. So I set this out. But anyways, we are about to eat dinner and relax.